What's good, my YouTube family? Now, I'm just going to do this really quick and short video. Um, I'm basically going to show you guys how to shine um, some shoes here. Actually, not just any shoes, some Allen Edmonds. So, uh, here's my shoes here. Okay. And I'm basically going to show you how to do it. I know there's other videos out there that show people putting all this work into shining the shoe, putting all the, the leather, uh, what you call it. Uh, protector and cleaners and all that but a lot of us don't have a whole lot of time in the day so um, like I said yeah we have to utilize the time that we have and uh, I'm gonna show you real quick so here I have my uh, premium polish that I picked up from uh, oh man, what's going on with this thing not focusing not focusing what's going on my camera broke anyway Here's some premium polish that I picked up. There we go. From the Allen Edmonds store. And this is what they give you. I um, can't remember how much I paid for it, but I don't think it really matters. But anyway, and what I typically like to do is put a. And I'll just smear it on. I'll get some out to the top. When it comes up, just smear it all over the shoe, all over the back. Put it everywhere. Smear it all over. On the heel the sides okay just you want to get it in there really good be careful about the front here because if you get too close you can start you can get in the holes and these are just holes so the shoot so you can your feet can breathe so try not to go over that too much get in the whole shoe so there we go get it everywhere all around the shoe and the heel back okay so once that's done that down. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a rag and uh, start shining it. So I typically, uh, this is the rag I use here. Old, some old beat up shirt. You don't need anything special. Stockings work really good, but this will do. I also have a wife beater in here that I use to apply it. And uh, you can also use, you can use any shirt. It doesn't really matter. T-shirt wife beater, whatever, and then I, what I do is I wrap it around my finger, so let me go ahead and stand this up real quick so you guys can get a good picture of what I'm doing here. Alright, so here it is, oops, stand up real quick, and I just wrap that around my finger, the shoes, I'm getting down low here, the shoe is pretty much, I got enough of it on it, and then what I do is I start going in this motion here, I start going down with motion. Just keep on shining, keep on shining. Right, and you'll see here in a second, it'll start to get really shiny. Right. I like to go in the downward motion first, just to get it in the boot or the shoe. I said boot. <laughs> I said boot. I meant to say shoe. Alright, so you want to get it in really good, really good. And as you're doing it, you'll start to see a really nice glossy shine start to appear. I know that's disgusting, but... Listen, I used to be in the military, and that shit works wonders, so talk about me if you want. I don't care. All right, and if you're not getting that desired shine, what I typically like to do is uh, I'll put another application on there. Okay, I'll put another application. It's coming. Uh, put some more on there. I don't think I put enough on there. Let's get a good amount on there. There you go. Nice. Look at that. I think I got a good amount on there. All right. Smothering in the shoe. Put that back in the box. Going for round two. Right. And once you start to get that shine, you can start going in circular motions. That's what I typically do here until I start to get that shine, that nice buffing shine. I mean, it's not going to be, like I said, it's not going to be 100% shiny, 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 but it'll be shiny enough to where you can definitely see the difference. Right. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll put it on another side here. Wet it a little bit, but not too much. Just keep going. As you can see, I'm starting to get a shine going and now I'm gonna start going into a circular motion with it okay circular motions circular motion and 
and I'm really starting to get this shine. It's really starting to stand out. These shoes don't typically come shined up. You have to put the work and effort in to get that shine to pop. Right. Let's keep buffering in, buffer it in, buffer it in, buffer it in. Start to see the shine. I mean, it all depends on how much time you spend on it. If you really, really want that shine, you'll put a couple coats on there and it'll come out really shiny. But as you can see, I didn't put a whole lot of coats on there. I just put maybe a coat and a half, maybe half a coat. And once the shoe starts to kind of get like a, you can feel like you're gliding over it. That really shows, it tells you that you really start to put a nice glossy shine on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but as you can see, see how the shine's coming in. I haven't really done the heel yet, but same process on the heel, same process on the entire shoe. Once you get it buffered in there, you can start going in circular motions to get the shine to start popping through the shoe. That's exactly what I'm doing. Circular motions. Okay. Keep rubbing it, keep rubbing it, and this is what it's all about. It's just you. It's gotta keep. You gotta put work into it, you guys. Anything in life, you do. You gotta put work into it. Didn't have to, I didn't undo the shoelaces, okay? Didn't, didn't do any of that. Okay. Polishing it. Really, really good. Just to show you guys. All right. And as I'm doing this too, I forgot to tell you guys, when you're shining it, you wanna have a shoe horn in there so that you can keep the shoe in its natural form, okay? So always put a shoehorn in there to keep it so it's nice and flat and leveled out so that you get that really distinguished shine. <laughs> okay? And this also helps keep the shape. The shoehorn also helps keep the shape of the shoe, by the way. If those are people out there that really know why I have it in there or understand the reasons to why I have it in there. Now I start going on the side, shining it up. All right. And there you got it, you guys. Look at that. Not bad at all, huh? Not bad at all. Um, I could put another coat on it and to get it a little bit more shiny if I want, but this is just goes to show you, it doesn't take a whole lot to shine the shoe. A lot of people think that they have to go through this drawn out process and 20, 30 minute process. Five minutes, 10 minutes, not gonna be the greatest shine in the world, but you'll have a noticeable difference. And even when the sun is shining, you'll see the noticeable difference in it. So let me show you the shoe that's not shined currently versus the shoe that is shined. I don't know if you can see a really big significant difference. Um, I may put another little coat on there, but yeah. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It's not a whole lot to it. Um, the more time and effort you put into shining it, the shiner it's gonna be. Um, if you don't wanna use a t-shirt, you can use a stocking. Stockings with her work really well. Uh, female stockings. So uh, anyway. That's pretty much it, and I'm out, you guys. Peace, love, and harmony. 2017, the wise bro. Gotta go.